you don't have time to waste. So I need you to put in a thousand percent every single day. I was the baddest person to ever live. It doesn't go away, man. You gotta wake up, even though you retired, you never retired. You're setting the example every single day of your life about having a savage mentality. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what real beasts do. Everybody gets excited. E.T., the guru story, but nobody wants to get up at three o'clock. Things in life are gonna get really fucking hard and you're gonna wanna quit. Win, lose, or draw. Still gotta wake up tomorrow and go to fucking work. If you truly want that greatness, you got to work hard. You got to dig a little bit deeper. You got to find it. You got to go after it. Because it's not looking for you. Success is not looking for you. You got to go get it. You're not always gonna feel like doing what you're supposed to do. That's when you gotta do it anyways. Success is not going to be handed to you. Nobody owes you anything. When you are hungry, when you are no longer full, when you are no longer satisfied with where you are and you raise your standards, it is only then that you can have your future. What's going to separate you is when it's beast time, when it's, when it's war time, you got to get up and make it happen. Push with everything you got. Tell excuses to step aside. Let weakness know that it is not welcome in your house because the opportunities are yours. Go get it, go get it now! Like for real, you walk out of here pumped up, fired up, you get some new information, you're ready. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do because not only do I want to be a beast, if you follow my 24 hours, I do what beasts do. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I feel that most things I do, but still I grind. I have too much to accomplish to be satisfied with where I am right now. I have too much on the line. I have too many people depending on me to win. I must stay hungry. Be a hard-working motherfucker. You can't go wrong with that mentality. I'm telling you, the one thing you cannot get back is time. It is your greatest asset. I'd give somebody some of my money for a couple more years to be with my wife. Time is the greatest enemy. You think it is infidelity. The greatest enemy. You think it is finances. You think it is in-laws. You think it is differences. No, no, no. It is time. We've got to learn how to steward our time. We got to learn to tend to it, guard it, keep it. I just want to make sure that the life we got left, that is sweeter than the life that if I would give up or if I wasn't focused and I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. So when you've been with somebody since you're 16 years old and they got a chronic illness, don't you know it's easy for me to go drink? It's rough. My life, it ain't what it used to be before she got sick. Like while God is blessing her, she still got MS. I lost five ounces to cancer. You don't think I could have smoked some weed? You don't think when I'm going through that pressure, I couldn't have broke? But you talked about it, mental toughness. It is in those times we have to be stronger than we've ever been before. Why? Because they need us more than they ever needed us before. And you guys are blessed in that you are the one percenters. Not many people want to be in your life who want the life that you have and you got it. And you not taking it serious. Like you know how many people would die to have this life? You know how many people would die to be on the field on Sunday? You know how many people would die to eat the way y'all eat? You know how many people would die to have the gear y'all got? You know how many people would die to get on these planes and travel the world? You know how many people would die to have your life? And you got it. It's your life. You got it. What you gonna do with it? You gotta be able to see it when it cannot be seen. You have to see it happening. You have to believe in the unseen. Because if you can't believe in it, you will never manifest it. But when you believe in it, you, you demand the universe to assist you in what you're doing. And if you can see it before everybody else can see it, then it's going to eventually come to you. Forget about January. Forget about February. Forget about March. Forget about April. Forget about May. Forget about June. Forget about July. Forget about August. Forget about September. It's over. So forget about the past. 
listen to me and make the rest of your life the best of your life. It's your boy E.T. I know you can do it. I believe you can do it. Now go out there, get up, get out, go get some. Are you wasting your time or are you using your time wisely? You can replace money. You cannot get a year back.